So it has been an absolute amazing week. I am so blessed of God. I, you know, was going through some very, very deep personal things. And then um, it's like the light at the end of the tunnel became more visual, became more vivid. Even though it was the size of a pinhole at first, it started to get bigger and bigger and bigger. So when when they say that, I know it's a cliche that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. I saw that light. I saw that light. That light gave me hope. It gave me inspiration. Basically, that light was my family, was my friends, uh, my schoolmates, um, some some artist mates of mine that just let me know, hey, we're we're behind you. We we want to help you. You know, and and you know, come study with us. Let me let me help you with this situation, and just having a just having an ear to have somebody to talk to was one of the biggest things that helped me get over. Um, well, I'm still going through the, the situation, but it's not as it's not as dramatic and as impactful as it was when I was feeling like you know it, it was just too much for me to to bear, and I needed some other people to help me carry some things and. Man, they came through. Everybody came through from my church, my family, my friends, and and really in in that order. Um, you know, <laughs> for a long time, you know, even growing up, I thought maybe you know, I was just different, and you know, people just didn't like me. You know, and I tried to be liked, and that wouldn't work. And I tried to do this, and that wouldn't work. So I just say, you know, either they're gonna like me for me, or they're just not gonna like me and I'm just not their person but I have found that um even in not understanding how all the time those things those situations work out that it doesn't matter whether someone likes you or not do you like yourself and have you put yourself forward to them or anyone in the best possible light that you can, whether it be just a smile as you pass someone, a good morning, a good night, a have a nice day. Um, it doesn't have to be a long drawn out conversation to just be nice. It's nice to be nice. I say it all the time. And I used to say that, yeah, to a fault, I'm, I'm probably too nice. It's not a fault. I'm not going to scale back how nice I am just to appease someone else's insecurities about themselves and about how they feel about people. Um, and I've come into their, come, come before them to hopefully change that stereotype or change that situation in their life. So I'm just, I'm just happy. Um, it's been, it was, it's been a great week and I'm, I'm, I'm believing God that he's going to give me an opportunity to have another week like that. And they just take steps. They just take steps, not level. I'm not trying to get from level to level. I'm trying to get from step to step. That's the, that's the situation. I'm not trying to get to the next level. It's the steps in between that, um, that I'm trying to make sure that I hit everyone. So I've, when I was younger, I'd jump over them and just move forward. And oh yeah, well, whatever. And you know, as I got older, I still, you know, some I didn't even do, uh, some I procrastinated in, or I just, you know, didn't just didn't even know and didn't research the, to get the answer. And then I got the metaphorical slap across the face that wake that woke me up um, about. Um, six months, seven months ago, and just just one night in mid-September, um, I got a phone call that changed my life. It literally changed my life. And I would say for the last seven months, I've been on the experience of that journey, of that change, and it's, it's been extremely painful. It's been, it's been, it's been hard to, to deal with guilt and to deal with um, happiness when you, you, uh, you, you don't feel you deserve that happiness because of that guilt or, or, or and, uh, and, uh, I'm just thankful that God just seven months ago, just released me, um, to be able to make a decision that the decision had to be mine. 
and for and that I was going to have to live with that decision. And in making that decision, he iterated to me, you make the decision, I'll help you through it. Whether you make a good decision or you make a bad decision, I'm going to be there to help you through it. I'm going to let you know if it's right or I'm going to let you know if it's wrong. If it's wrong, your road is going to be harder. But it was your decision. If it's right, the road's still going to be rough because it was your decision. So you don't know those things when you make a decision that is um, seemingly to others probably selfish. But to yourself, you're being true to what you know of yourself and to not be true of that anymore and to not and to can and to continue in a situation of not being true to yourself you're never going to win you 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 you're not going to be happy you can't make others happy others won't be happy with you you know so the best thing to do is to trust and believe god that you know yourself enough that you can make a decision and understand that the, your foundation in God and in him and in your word and in the Holy Spirit, that you are making a decision that, man, you know it's going to be painful and you know it's going to be tough, but you know that this decision is the right decision for the insanity, for the sanity, I should say, for all involved. And I'm just, I'm just, man, I, 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 I wish I can just jump through this camera right now and just and just and just hug each and every one of the persons that get to see this video because this video is me for the rest of my life. And what I mean by that is uh many times people want to bring up the old you because they're still stuck in the old them. So when you are confronted with the old you, you have to confront them with the new you and have that person understand that, yes, that probably was my past, but I'm not living in that anymore. So don't live in that by yourself. Come live in this new, in this new person. Be nice, be friendly, move forward, love God. So that's, that's just a quick little testimony I wanted to share and just get off my heart. It's just, I woke up this morning and man, I, I uh, if, if I ran around in the street screaming, they, they put me in a hospital, but I'm blessed of God today. God has moved in my life in a mighty way. He showed himself to me a week ago and when I, he, he revealed his spirit to me and, 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 and I'm going I'm to try to forever walk within that. And um, just God bless you. Have a great day. Be true to yourself. To thy own self be true. And you can be true to others. Um, bless the Lord. Um, yeah, thanks. And it's nice to be nice. <laughs> Have a blessed day.